Hello, hello again friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here and welcome back to the Elite Dangerous 2.1 beta server. Now, what we are going to be doing today is pimping out yet another ride and we're going to be going for the Cobra Mark 3. We've already pimped out the Cobra Mark 4 and we've seen that it can become an okay ship. Now, like I said, yes, it can become okay. Not great, but just okay. So what we're going to go and do is, by comparison, pimp out the Cobra Mark III and see just how much better this ship is going to get comparatively. I mean, already I'm really liking the look of this ship because we've gone back to the Red Ignition and I just love how the gold flames are actually gold now. And they actually shine properly, they're actually metallic. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Let's go and have a look at what weapons we've got. I've got nothing but pulse lasers. I want to go and see how well this ship can handle these kind of weapons once fully pimped out so we have no uh, ammunition based weapons whatsoever. So I just want to go and see how well that works. Uh, utility mounts, we've got a chaff launcher and a shield booster. Core internals, same as always. Grade A apart from the life support and sensors. Optional internals, we've got the normal 4A shield generator, we can't get the uh, prismatic shield generator currently because it's not available in the beta anymore so oh well one shield cell bank a bunch of cargo racks and a fuel scoop we don't really need the fuel scoop because we've got a decent enough jump range as is but we're gonna go and buff, buff that up anyway because we're just shy of 20 light years so i'm gonna go and see how much we end up on after we finish buffing up because, yeah, as you can see, which I forgot to point out on the core internals, we actually now have military grade composites. Uh, something that I don't usually bother with doing on most ships, but considering that the shields on this ship are not amazing, and we can't go for the prismatics, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. So, what I need to go do now is stock up on some fish and get some modifications done. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty, so that's all the modifications done to the ship. And what have we gone and done? Well, pretty much I have gone and modified all of the burst lasers. And all of them are grade for efficient weapons. Which is going to be reducing the power draw, uh, potentially lowering the damage per second, but in some cases it actually increases it. Uh, we've got, well, actually no, it always reduces the damage per second, but it does increase the overall damage per shot at times. Uh, the di distributor draw has gone down, the thermal load's gone down, the armor piercing's gone up, and the, but the rate of fire's gone down. So it's basically everything's positive apart from the damage per second and the rate of fire. It's, which is pretty much why the damage per second's gone down, but that's fine. It means we don't have to keep going back and reloading if we don't need to. So we just wanted to try this out, and because the thermal load's gone down, it means that we're not going to be overheating as much. So coming back out of all of this, utility mounts, obviously I've just boosted up the shield booster, it now does 71.1% uh, boosting of shields, which is nice. Uh, core internals, we have modified the military grey composites to heavy duty armor it's increased the mass by about 40 percent but it's also increased the kinetic resistance thermal resistance and explosive resistance of the armor because like i said the shields on this thing are not amazing so we've gone and put in as much heavy armor as we can uh, the power plant i have actually modified this one but i've gone for an armored power plant because we don't need to increase the power output of this power plant in order to run this ship the way we have it, especially with the efficient power weapons. So the mass has gone up, yes, but the integrity has also gone up, as has the heat efficiency. So that's great, because that allows us to go and modify a dirty drive tuning grade 5, so we've got plus 24.5% more power to our thrust. So that's going to be nice. Frame shift drive, obviously we've made it even longer, so you can see here that we've upped our jump range to 23.45 light years, especially after making everything so much heavier. Uh, the power distributor, we've obviously, I've obviously gone and made that for weapons because I want to see how well that works. But we'll go and see, and yes, 
optional internals. We've modified the shield generator for more strength, the shield cell bank for a faster spin-up time, and more uh, mega jewels of restored power. And that's about it. So that's everything that we've gone and done to the ship. And let's go out and see just how well it holds up in a resource extraction site. So I'll see you over there, guys. Alrighty, guys, we seem to have found our first target. It's a wanted serious security. So let's go and see how well this goes. We're going to go target his power plant and prepare for war. So, yeah, we're a l still a little bit more sluggish than I would like, but his shield's gone down. I think he hits a... Oh, no. He's being beat on by a wing. And there he goes. Wow, that was quick. Let's go and find ourselves something else to kill, then. What about you, Federal Agent? Are you wanted? No, you're not. But whilst we're on the hunt for something else to shoot at, let's have a quick look and see how much more manoeuvrable this ship has gotten. Because the, we have gone and got pretty much the maximum amount of manoeuvrability out of it from our dirty drive tuning. Now, this ship does still drift a hell of a lot, especially, af especially in different directions, so we don't turn quite as fast as we would like. I mean, just go into the sweet spot. We can turn it, we can drift it. But we can just go insanely fast. I mean, let's see. What is our fastest boost speed currently? Over 500 meters per second. Let's see if we can get any further. 520 meters per second. That is certainly not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Let's go see if we can find something to blow out of the sky. There we go. We have a wanted Ferdelant. So again, targeting the power plant. Let's go and start this off. Ooh. Now let's look at the power distributor. The power distributor is actually holding up fairly well for this. But we are going to want to go and get the... Oh, no. Shields are down. Let's go and break contact, wait until our shields get back up. Now, we're outside of effective weapons fire. They cannot do much against us. We're even outrunning their missiles. So now we've just got to wait for the, the shields to come back up. But that's going to take a while. I see you looking at me. So, let's see just how well this is going to go. So, two pips into weapons, rest into systems. Let's see how well we can tank this out. Time for some chaff. Let's get another shield cell bank on the go. As soon as the chaff is ready. More chaff, more heat sh uh, sheet cell banks. Now, let's go and take this guy's power plant down. Looks like we're going to be losing our shields again. So, let's see how well we can do this with our armor. Or... Oh, are we going to be losing the canopy? So let's get a little bit of distance on this again, because it looks like we're just not going to be able to tank up this damage. Now the ship is good, but it's not good enough to go and tank out damage from two at the same time. I mean, potentially we should have really been firing at this eagle all along, but I don't suspect we're going to be getting much done with them on our ass the entire time. So, let's get the hell out of Dodge. So, the Cobra Mark III. Battle-worn and everything. 
Yes, we're still running away from those two NPCs, but uh, oh well. What do I think of this ship once it has been fully upgraded? Now, I've got to admit, I've never really been the, one of the biggest fans of the Cobra. It is a great multi-purpose ship, and I do think that the engineers are really going to go and come into their own, making this ship a better explorer, a better smuggler, and a better combat ship. Although, combat not quite as much. I've always preferred the Viper Mark III over the Cobra Mark III when it comes to combat. But this ship does get better, but it's not good enough to go and take on things by itself, like as we saw here. But I still think it is a fairly good ship. But what I think of this is kind of irrelevant. It's what do you guys think of this ship? So as always, let me know in the comments what you think of this ship. Pre-mod, after-mod, whatever. Let me know what you think about it and I'll do my best to get back to as many of you as I humanly can. But anyway guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please do hit those like and subscribe buttons because that really does help my channel out. And oh no, we're getting shot at, but let's get the hell, we're going to get the hell out of here anyway. But anyway guys, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf, you guys have been epic. I will see you soon, and until then commanders, keep flying and stay shiny.